Hi everyone, welcome again to our new topic of the AWS that is Amazon Web Services. In this session, I will explain you about Simple Storage Services that is S3 in AWS. So myself, Deepak Rai, I am going to present you about different aspects of S3 and how we will create practically with our Amazon account. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Here we go with the actual content of simple storage services that is S3. So today I will explain what is S3 and how to create and configure for actual requirement. I will show you with the example to upload the file according to our requirement. So for complete understanding. Please be available from start to end of this tutorial so that you are able to understand the basic concept of the SS3 and how to create that. Let's begin with this. So Amazon S3 that is simple storage services is scalable, high speed, low cost, web based services designed for online backup and archiving of data and application program. We can store any format file based in our requirement. It allows to upload, store and download any type of file up to 5 TB in size. This service allows the subscriber to access the same system that Amazon uses to run its own websites. Subscriber has control over the accessibility of the data that is privately or publicly accessible. Amazon S3 stores data as objects within the buckets and object is a file and any optional metadata that describes the file to store a file in Amazon S3. We upload it to a bucket. When we upload a file in an object, we can set permissions according to our requirement or objects and any metadata. Buckets are containers of four objects. We can have one or more buckets. We also control access of each bucket deciding who we create, delete or list objects in it. We can also choose the geographical region where Amazon S3 will store the bucket and it contains the view access log of the bucket and its object. We can use Amazon S3 to store and retrieve any amount of data at any point of time from anywhere on the web. That is actual selection of region where you store a data is stored on which cloud might be all you us uk it's totally dependent on you on which server or which region you want to store the data we can accomplish this task using the aws management console which is simple and intuitive web interfaces so it basically it's a storage system where we can store our file or website contain or any applications contain on cloud. So there's different components uh, involved in S3 that is buckets, objects, keys, region and data consist consistency model. So let's discuss in detail. So first is bucket. Bucket is a container used for storing the objects. There is a no limit of bucket and performance is also good. The AWS user that creates a bucket, they own it and no other AWS user cannot own it. Therefore, we can see that the ownership of bucket is not transferable. Whoever is the responsible for creating any bucket, that will be owned by the creator only, not for the other user. The owner is allowed to delete the account at any time based on our requirements. Second is objects. Objects are entities which are stored in S3 buckets. An object consists of object data and metadata where metadata is set of name value pairs that describes the data. An object consists of some default metadata such as data last modified and standard HTTP metadata such as contain type. Custom metadata can also be specified at the time of storing an object. It is uniquely identified within a bucket by key and version ID. Third is keys. This is a unique identifier for an object. The name itself suggests key. It means it's a unique and can be used for 
bucket is associated with one key. An object can be uniquely identified by using a combination of bucket name, the key and optionally version ID. Fourth is regions. We can select a geographical region according to a requirement. So at any point of time, if you want to switch the region from one place to another place at the time of creation, you can do that. A region is chosen in such a way that it optimizes the latency, minimizes cost and addresses regularly as a regulatory requirements. So objects will not leave the region unless you explicitly transfer the object to another region. Finally, the fifth that is last one that is data consistency model. So Amazon S3 replicates the data to multiple servers to achieve high availability. So this is all the components of the uh, S3 will discuss advantages at the latest stage after creating our S3 buckets. So let's move to our Amazon account. I have already signed in because of that I am able to see this. So you have to select services and inside the services you are able to see S3. Click on this and the page will appear for creating in bucket. So once you click on the create bucket, you need to provide the name. So just like I am giving here the name test demo. test demo 1 and the reason as I said if you want to select the different reason you can select it but right now my global login has created with Oregon but at any point of time if I want to select Asia Pacific or any other reason definitely I will go ahead so by default I am keeping the same name or the reason you can copy setting from existing bucket if you have any other buckets are involved in your uh, creation you can select it click on the next uh, bucket name is already exist let's see one two this is already exist so two three four now you can select the keys according to your requirement keep all versions on object in the same bucket uh, select this so it will store your all the versions object in the same bucket if you want to provide the key you can use the tag track objects for the cost any other so you can also do that i'm not keeping anything here so let's move to the next now here you have to provide all the accesses block all public accesses I have selected here because I am not going to use for public link but if you want to provide the any other access like block public access to bucket and object granted through any new access control list you can select it according to your requirement so there are four uh, options are available as a set permission so you can select according to your required components so manage system permission you can also select the different one but uh, I am keeping same because I am demonstrating this. I don't want to select the other fields. But according to your requirement, you can change it at any point of time. So I am moving to next. Now you can see review has provided us the complete detail whatever I have, we have configured. And once we will click, we are able to see our bucket will be available inside our login. So now it's done. You can see here our bucket is available with the test demo 234. So once you click on this, if you want to update any or upload any file, just like images or anything, you can upload it and store it according to your requirement. Just you have to drag and drop the files and you can select it. So after selecting, you have to provide the permission who is uh, accessible or it is publicly available or not then set the properties and after reviewing you can click on next thus file will be uploaded for your required components if you want to create any folder just like when we are whenever we are working with the any dns uh, services or any website launching there are multiple folders are available so we have to upload each and every files like their indexes or uh, 
contact us pages all the files should be available in the same folder so you can create one folder inside that you can keep all the uh, uh, web pages then the next you can create a new files for your video content or images that is the media content and about the licensing the other component you can create the other folders this is not mandatory but if you keep this hierarchy it will be easy for you for future purpose to updating the content so just like i created here one folder and inside the folder you can provide the encryption method according to your requirement but these encryption method is very secure and which is globally used but if you are not using you can keep at as a none then also a uh, basic aws encryption method will be work for your bucket and files so a uh, if you want to keep all the files together in a single folder you can keep it there is no issue then the property setting i inside the properties in there several uh, other components like versioning you can um, make your versioning component if you want to save uh, all the versions together you can keep the versioning together but if you want to keep all the versions separately then you can create a folder and save your files according to your versions server access login static website hosting so these all components are available whenever you can want to use it you can use it by default encryption method is working with your account but if you want to enable any other encryption method you can select and enable this component advanced setting will save you for identification purpose like tagging transfer acceleration events request space so these all components are available if you want to use it for your require component you can use us now if at any point of time you want to update the permission access you can do that according to your requirement then there is a management console you can manage your stuffs like replication analytics matrix inventory inventory means you can save your all the files together at once then access points so you can create your access point according to your requirements so access points can be used to provide access to your buckets asri console does not support using virtual private cloud that is vpc access point to access bucket resources to access bucket resources from a vpc access point you will need to use the aws cli or aws sdk so this is all about the creating and folder or uh, using uh, your bucket for your required component now when you click on this if you want to copy bucket arn or any other detail uh, you can copy it from here so if you want to empty just like you have uploaded many files or uh, folders and you want to empty this folder just click on this that complete uh, bucket will be empty for your for the requirement at any point of time if you want to edit public access setting you can do that by clicking just this button and if your work is over and you don't want to use for the further access directly click on delete and your bucket will be deleted permanently so i am giving here as a test demo and i did on the moment 234 so i want to delete only this one if you are using multiple uh, uh, buckets then this will be useful for you for deleting otherwise by mistake the other bucket should not be deleted now you can see buckets are deleted and again um, the new process will start when you want to create the new bucket So this is all about how to create and configure the several components inside the buckets. Let's move to the advantage part. As we have seen in the uh, creating buckets and setting of your S3 required components, there are several advantages related with this. Just like creating a bucket, so you can create bucket at any point of time and unlimited type of access. So you can create how many numbers of you want as per your requirement. storing data in buckets is very much important feature just like uh, you can upload your image file media content just like audio video 
then uh, there is several other uh, pages are available uh, in terms of websites but if you are working with your mobile application or any other uh, desktop application that will require several licensing part to be uploaded on server for access you can also store your database uh, contain for database uh, com repository you can download any point uh, all the data at any point of time you can set your permissions as we have did while creation standard interfaces are available you can use the several other interfaces for your requirement security is very much important part when we are creating any bucket or storage uh, services so there is the aes encryption method is working in the background if you want to occupy or use it definitely you can go ahead otherwise aws already providing several other security methods so this will be useful for your protecting your data and the several components so this is all about the aws s3 so let's recap this we have started with the basic concept of s3 and then we have uh, done what all components are required and uh, how many size of data we can store in s3 then we have moved to the several components available in the s3 bucket like bucket objects keys reason the data consistency model after that we move to creating the bucket and we have configured each and every component then according to your requirement if you want to delete it that bucket we have deleted that bucket then we have seen the advantages of s3 and this is all about s3 and how to create s3 hope you understand it if you have any queries or comment please come in the comment section so that i will check and reward with the solution and most important part don't forget to like and subscribe the channel for the latest update thank you